President Xi's visit to Panama. We're joined now by Remy Piet. He's a senior director at America's Market Intelligence. That's a research firm specializing in Latin America. Uh, President Xi says uh, China-Panama cooperation carries huge potential. Panama, of course, the first Latin American country to sign on to the Belt and Road Initiative, as Roy just pointed out. Give us a sense of where this relationship is today and what the future looks like. Well, it's been a relationship that's been developing for the last 18 months, and, and that is actually a very strong strategic move from China in, in what used to be the uh, American backyard. Uh, Panama started developing relations with China, closed the uh, Taiwanese embassy and opened the Chinese embassy, and following this move, you have a series of other countries, you know, the Dominican Republic, but also Salvador that, that follow suit. And we're really seeing here now, uh, with Panama being such an essential player on the uh, infrastructure uh, sector, we're seeing interest from the Chinese side to continue developing both uh, bridges and, and uh, arbors and, uh, and a series of convention centers also in, in Panama, trying to make Panama this uh, you know, cornerstone of their ambitions in Latin America. And she, of course, visiting the Panama Canal today. That's already emblematic of the relationship between these two countries because uh, China is right behind the United States in terms of being a customer of the Panama Canal. I imagine even more trade will be flowing through there. How do you see that developing? I mean, definitely the trade through the Canal of Panama is going to be increasing. I mean, there's been a, 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 the building of a third log that actually increases the capacity of the Canal of Panama to uh, have a transit and, and a series of, of ships that now can actually go through to the, 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 the canal. There's also a negotiation towards increasing even, even more this, uh, the, the, the capacity of the, of the canal to uh, be a key player on, on world trade. Uh, so we're seeing uh, Panama being really important on uh, both strategy for, from, the, uh, from China and also from countries in Latin America that might actually want to ship some of their export through the, through the canal in, in the future. Uh, yes. I was going to say one Panamanian government official said that Xi's visit will put Panama on the map. Do you see that as well? Yeah, definitely. And, and, and Panama was also the first player you know, drafting a, a comprehensive trade agreement with, uh, with China. Uh, so that really shows like a, a, the way and, 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 a, and a strategy that other countries in Latin America is, are very likely to, to follow suit. It would be interesting to see the, the reaction from the Trump administration is starting, you know, raising some concerns while Salvador also, uh, you know, open relation with, uh, with, uh, with China. And now we're seeing a stronger stance from, uh, from the Trump administration on this visit from, uh, from the Chinese prime minister to, uh, to, to Panama. But they've been late to, to this game and they, and they haven't seen probably the, uh, the, the presence of, of Chinese investment, which is, you know, also going to be very interesting for the future of Latin American countries now that are in deep need of, uh, of, of infrastructure. Colombia, Argentina, uh, Chile, Brazil, uh, Bolivia, also all those countries have been, you know, intensifying their relation with China. Well, let me ask you about that because you brought it up. Uh, how does the Panamanian leader actually try and navigate this, though? Because obviously, uh, Panama is in the U.S. backyard, uh, still wants a strong relationship with China. How does it do that when you see these two countries kind of at loggerheads, although they did come up with this truce at, in Argentina? Well, the, the Panamanian president is actually arriving at the end of his uh, presidential term. There's going to be elections next year that are going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, but definitely, it's going to be his legacy to, uh, to his country of having intensifying his, this link with, with China. On, on the perception from, from Panama, it's very interesting at a time where the Trump administration has been you know, not really ambitious towards Latin America, very limited trips to, uh, from Donald Trump looking at the, uh, uh, at the Americas. They actually didn't even make the trip to, uh, to Colombia for uh, recently when he was supposed to come back from, uh, from the G20. So obviously it's a signal, a strong signal towards the United States that you know, countries in Latin America also have their own interests in mind. There's strong correlation and, and, and compatibility of, of interest in terms of raw material, infrastructure, mining, energy, where China can actually be a strong player and already is a strong player in, uh, in, uh, in Latin America. The issue will be from Chinese companies to understand the, the, the importance of local situations and local politics that those investments actually are sustainable down the road and do not attract you know, some, some social and political tensions in each one of those countries. But definitely the leaderships of, of countries in Latin America, starting with Panama, but also the you know, Dominican Republic, Savo in Central America, and other countries in Latin America is, is showing the, uh, an intensification of, of, of interest towards China. Remy Pia joining us from Miami. Thanks so much for your observations. Appreciate it. My pleasure.